Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name is Ardil, and today's video is another update on a behind the sound series on the Porsche Boxer. What's going into the system? An absolutely incredible set of speakers as well as an amplifier. If you are new to our channel and haven't seen us before, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And remember, guys, we've got a massive competition running at the moment as well. We're giving away an Audison Prima amplifier, a bit like the one in today's video, as well as the fact we're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5. Link for all of that is in the description below. So make sure you go check that out. As soon as we hit 10, thousand subscribers we're giving it all away completely free of charge in terms of giving you guys a little bit of an update on where we're up to so we are pretty much all the way there we're nearly completed on the actual install however now it's time for tuning and that's what today's video is focusing on we have got in terms of a brief overview of the components if you have missed any of our videos that post up before there's loads of content already live on this car but we've got an Audison Forza amplifier so it's an Audison Prima 8.9 amplifier that allows us to tune the system that's what we're talking about in today's video it's in terms of the speaker configuration customers after a complete stock look but giving an increase in volume, but also an increase in mid bass as well as clarity. We've achieved exactly that. In a stock location, we've got the Hertz Mille Pro tweeter. Then in a stock location, again, the Hertz Mille Pro three inch mid range. Then inside the door, again, completely hidden away, you can't see a thing, is the Hertz Mille Legend seven inch driver, which absolutely kicks in this car. Plus we've also acoustically soundproofed the doors as well, building a far better acoustic environment for that new sound system to work in. So where are we up to in terms of the configuration? So once an install is done, what we actually do is put the car all back together, then we do an initial setup. The initial setup basically gets us to about 5% of the way. What that's actually doing is choosing the speaker configuration, but also setting filters and frequencies just to make sure everything is safe. So on the software, what we do is we plug in our laptop into directly into the Forza amplifier and we load up this screen here. So on this screen, what we've got is we've got a speaker configuration of a three-way, what's called fully active front end. When we say fully active, what we actually mean is each channel on the amplifier is running directly to individual components. Those components, so we're running an eight channel amplifier and we've got six speakers in the car, but you may be thinking, well, what are you doing with the last two channels? What we're doing is bridging channels on the seven inch woofers to give them more power and help them perform that so much better. So they really, really do kick. So we're using all eight channels on this system running a six speaker configuration. You don't always need a lot of speakers in vehicles. Manufacturers always provide this sort of marketing material that they've got 10 speaker system or a 14 speaker system. We're now seeing in cars 20, 25 speaker systems. It's really, really not needed. We normally take those speaker systems down to say six, nine, 10 speaker systems. They reduce a lot depending on the vehicle. We've gone down to a six speaker system. We've got a massive increase in volume, we've got a massive increase in clarity plus mid base in the vehicle without seeing a thing. So the speed configuration is all configured there. That's on the initial setup when we take signals and plug directly into the Forza. Once that's all set up and we know exactly what speakers are playing, tested each speaker that's all performing and in phase, we make sure that is all completed first. Then what happens is we go to this little computer bit of kit here. So this technology that we're using is something called BitTune. BitTune, what it actually allows us to do is plug in a computer and electronically tune the system. So this is, can either be done by ear, by us, by us here, but you've also got the option of the bit tune. So we go 5% of the way with the actual ourselves tuning, setting filters, frequencies and things. Then we leave it up to the electronic side of things to actually measure the internals of the vehicle. So inside here, what we've actually got is a microphone setup, and we actually rotate this as we're listening to the, as the electronic component is listening to the car. So it's got microphones built in all the way around. You've got a central mic as well as a driver focused mic. That's what all for time alignment. So time alignment actually moves sound around the vehicle with increase and delay of actual sound outputting from individual components directly to wherever it needs to land. So we've got a microphone here, but if I had the microphone on top of my finger outside the car, we can have the audio land as a center point direct as the listening position outside here. But we're focusing on the driver and that's exactly why we're set up like we are here. But we've also, if we wanted to, we've got a central focus as well. But the driver is the main important part on this system. So that's why we configured, configured everything to this. So we're delaying an increased sound where as they come out of a speaker, so they land exactly where we need them to in the listening position. 
Then what we do is that computer and what the configuration via the BitTune actually allows for is a full graphic EQ that we've got here and it measures every element of that dashboard, every element of the interior, because obviously one side has a steering wheel, one side doesn't. That makes a difference acoustically on where sound waves are traveling. Obviously they're hitting one thing, an obstacle on one side, but not hitting them or hitting them at a delayed point or an increased speed at the other side. So it's very important that's all taken into account with your ears, just nobody's ears as good as they can be. They cannot pick that sort of stuff up. That's why electronically we use products like this to get us to 95% of the way there. However, it actually still needs a lot of configuration still to get you to 100%. What we actually did, there's an acoustic setup and a rhythm setup that the BitTune allows for. We actually have merged both of them setups because we found that it was just a bit lacking on the acoustic setup as the lower end and rhythm was a little bit too, um, too bright. So what we've actually done is flipped both, merged both together, and that's all done via ourselves once the tuning stage. That's why we're sitting in the car listening to it. Then what we've actually done is set this all up, still taking into account the fact that we've obviously got certain increase in delays in sound waves coming from the system because of the way the interior is picked up. However, it sounds absolutely awesome now. There's loads of mid bass, plus we've got that clarity coming from those tweeters right on top of the dash, but also the mid range is really strong as well. So overall, really, really happy with the overall system. It sounds absolutely amazing, but you can't see a thing. What we've also done on the car, which was done in the install previously, was actually the head unit conversion. That features loads of functionality like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, but there's loads of videos on our channel. If you're just looking to have that your head unit done, we do that as well as like integrated cameras and things like that. But today's video is all about the tuning. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's behind the sound episode. You've learned a little bit more about what's involved in a tuning setup. But if you are interested in having something like this done, you know exactly what to do, guys. Drop us a message on any of our social media platforms. We'll go through everything with you in a load more detail. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Remember, we're giving away that PlayStation 5 as well as Audison Prima Amplifier completely free of charge. So make sure you go check that out. Link for that is in the description below. We'll see you next time.